This is going to be part one of the Garmin Autopilot installation. Today's video is just going to be going over all the components. So we've got parts on parts on parts with cables and all kinds of stuff. And this is all the electronic side that you're going to need. Got the 1.2 liter Garmin pump, SA, SAE 5 to 3 8 steering tube fittings, the shadow drive, connector ferrules, the buzzer. This is the ECU, NEMA 2000 backbone kit, ECU power, then EC to CCU connector cable, CCU, the GHC 50 head unit with a bunch more NEMA cabling. And then what I'm waiting for are the NPT to 3 8 steering hose fittings, the ferrules, and the actual steering hose itself. What I'm gonna do now is lay out where all this equipment is gonna go on the boat. Okay, so I've been debating a bit on where to put everything. So we've got the lower helm station here, power panels, and all kinds of wiring inside here, with some space on that outboard corner there, and you know, probably could put it down on the floor, but shouldn't really have to service this pump much, hopefully never. And I'm thinking this bulkhead up in here would be a good spot and run the steering lines right up through here because those are some steering lines right there already. So keep those short coming off the lower helm unit. And then from there, I'm thinking about mounting the course computer on this brown bulkhead, which is center line low, and it's behind the stairs and shouldn't ever be touched by anything because, you know, it's it's far enough away from the steps. So I'm thinking that might go there. Okay, so I put the autopilot pump up high and horizontal because that was the most recommended uh, mounting position. They said they could mount it vertically, but the hydraulic uh, lines need to be facing up. Um, but I went ahead and mounted it vertical. What I think I'm going to do is <clears throat> run the lines around and up into the lower helm. So I should be able to mount those. This is looking overhead, you know, come around and up. So I mounted the ECU on the forward bulkhead of this compartment. And I just kind of put the cables there and I'm going to, of course, tie everything up. But just kind of, again, roughing it out, I'm going to run the power cord up into there and into the fuse panel so that should be no problem and then the purple is to the course compass computer to which i was saying i think i'm gonna leave it <clears throat> on this bulkhead right here that is behind the stairs so i got the course computer mounted dead center line pretty darn close to low and, you know, I kind of moved it up a few more inches because I am just long enough to get the NEMA drop cable to my backbone. So it's not pulling on that on that connector at all. It's not tight, but I ran it pretty much beeline the best I could up to inside of there. Okay, so I want to wrap up part one of the video of installing the pump, the ECU, and all the cabling and then the course computer was stuck behind there i was able to just have enough nema cable to tie into my oh, there it is existing network and i ran the power wire to one of the bus bars on a 40 amp fuse so that'll wrap up part one of installing all the components left to go is the hydraulic lines which that's going to be part two so stick around for that and i'll see you on the next one